Hey everyone, I'm Nick from Coffee Before Arch, and in this episode of C++ Crash Course, we're going to be talking about header guards or include guards. Now, uh, I'm, go I'm going to you know start us off by looking at a scenario, right? So let's say that we've got uh, here's our main function right here, and say we want to do two things, right? So we want to print out uh, say the square of a number and then the cube of a number. So a very simple example. Right, so one way we might have doing this if we say didn't want to use, uh, you know, a power function from within the standard library, we could write our own. Right, so in this case, let's look at square.h. So, you know, we just have a quick function in here that does, um, you know, just a times a. Right, so we give it an argument a, and it returns a times a. Uh, and then if we wanted to say, you know, get the cube of a number, so a number times itself. Um, three times, right? So a times a times a. Well, we could also use square for this purpose, right? So we could take the square of the number and then multiply it by a, right? So a squared times a would be a cubed. Now we run into a problem with having uh, multiple definitions of uh, with the same name, right? So we know that if we, you know, uh, let's go ahead and open up our main function again. So we know that, you know, if I have, say, some, you know, int some kind of function, right, say function one, and it takes an integer a, right? And I know that what is illegal is for me to have int function one int a, right? So this is illegal, right? Because it's two functions that have the exact same signature. So they have the exact same return type and they have the exact same argument uh, types, right? So this is illegal. <laughs> So uh, one thing that can that's pretty common uh, that can happen, especially once you get to larger projects, uh, we see that we already have uh, you know an error you know found in here, right? So it's pointing it out to us a little bit early just with my current setup, uh, but we'll see it very specifically um, once I do pre-processing, right? So you know the problem here is that while I've included square here because I want to call square, you know, unbeknownst to me. I may have included it multiple times, right? So cube.h also uses square, so we had that include within that other file, right? And so if we go ahead and just do pre-processing, so if I just do g++ dash e on main.cpp, and then let's say I'll just put it to out.cpp. So let's let's look at out and let's go to the very bottom. We see that um, I've included. So here's my main function, or the start of main, right? So we see that I go ahead and include square.h and then we see that inside of the cube right i also include square.h right so you know for just from free free uh, pre-processing what we've looked at previously we know that whenever we do an include it's basically just like copying and pasting the contents of the file wherever we have an include now if we have nested includes like we do here so i'm including you know um, cube but cube also includes square right all of those contents will get placed right there so what i end up having is multiple definitions of square right and these end up being the same definition right so this is a problem so if i try to just compile this so if i just do uh, g plus plus dash o uh you know main and then input main.cpp we see that it, it the compiler yells at me right so it says redefinition of int square int right um so we've previously defined this someplace, and that's because I've got these nested includes. Now, you may be wondering, okay, well, if I have a very large project, do I have to only have an include in one place? Uh, well, the answer is no. Uh, one of the things we can do to protect us from this pre-processing phase is handle it at the compiler through a special thing called header guards, right? So let's remove out.cpp. So uh, the way that we do this, if we go ahead and go into square.h, so this is kind of our problem file, this is the one that's being included multiple times, we can go ahead and give the uh, compiler some directives here, right? And we can say, I only want you to include this file once, right? right? And the way that I do this is I can go if, so, if, so just like include, I can do uh, if in def, right? So that's the same thing as you know, if not defined, and then I can give it some name. So I can say, you know, square h, right? Then I can say define square h, right? And then what I also have to do, because I have an if, I need to close this if statement, right? So I close that by doing um, end if, right? And so what does this do for us? 
Now what this does is it says if I haven't if the compiler hasn't seen this def a definition of square h, I want to define it, right? So after this gets included, it will be defined, so it'll keep me from including it multiple times if it's already been um, if it already should have been included here, right? So if I'm going to get conflicting definitions, right? And so we can see that this takes care of our problem, right? So if we go back to main.cpp, right? And if we go ahead and save this, we see it's not yelling at, any, uh, yelling at me anymore from ale. Um, then if I go ahead and compile this, so with G++ again, right? We see that it also doesn't yell at me, right? So I can go ahead and just run main and it says the square of three is nine, the cube of three is 27, right? But let's look at it from a pre-processing standpoint. So let's run pre-processing again. So we'll do G++ dash E on main.cpp, right? Do out.cpp and we'll open out, right? And so we see at the very bottom here, we see that we only have square defined once, right? So we've got square here and then we have a uh, cube included right here, but we see that uh, when we're including cube, we're not including that second um, version of square, right? From that nested include from include cube, right? So this helps us uh, keep track of things and helps us, you know, with these conflicting definitions, right? So that's the basics of header guards. They're very useful uh, inside of uh, programming and inside of our, and for avoiding, you know, in larger projects, having these conflicting definitions. Uh, but that's going to go ahead and do it for this time. As always, check out any of this code at github.com slash coffee before arch. So we looked at C++ crash course today. And so of course, all the links to all the other YouTube videos and the related files can be found in the readme. So we looked at uh, fundamental concepts and then under miscellaneous, we looked at header guard. So feel free to download this, play around with it. Let me know if you have any questions. And as always, I hope you have a nice day.